Hollywood can be a treacherous world for anyone who isn't a size 2. But it's no surprise that celebrities will often lose or gain weight for the sake of a role, making them look completely different. Other times, a celeb has to lose weight in order to stay healthy and continue to stay relevant in the entertainment business. Sometimes the transformations are truly shocking and will blow your mind. Before we get started, take a quick moment to subscribe to our channel by clicking on Christina Aguilera. Christina Aguilera is proof that weight can fluctuate and change as much as your personality. When she was a teen pop star in the late 90s and early 2000s, she was a tiny person with washboard abs and vocal chops that could shatter glass. She still has the vocal chops, but her body went through some changes. Well, what do you expect? Having a baby can do that to a body. If a celebrity like Christina can have her weight fluctuate dramatically, then you should feel a little better if you gain a few pounds after a cheat day. For Christina, going through weight changes like that can immediately land on the front page of the tabloids, yet she took all the commentary in stride. In 2010, she gained 40 pounds while dealing with her divorce. In 2012, she became serious in getting her weight back down and her health back up. In 2013, she lost 49 pounds. Then she became pregnant again in 2014, so she understandably gained some weight back. By 2016, Christina was back on track towards her weight loss goals. Jennifer, Jennifer Hudson, Hudson. After Jennifer, Jennifer Hudson, Hudson rose to fame, fame, thanks to paying for American Idol dues, there were some jerky members of society who just couldn't let go of the fact that she was overweight. However, that worked to her advantage and landed her the role of Effie in the movie adaptation of the musical Dreamgirls, which won her an Oscar. Since then, Jennifer has solidified her role in the entertainment industry and is one of the most talented people out there. However, she decided to make some changes in her life. She joined Weight Watchers and became the company's spokesperson. The result? Jennifer dropped over 80 pounds, going from a size 16 to a size 6. She looks completely different if you compare her to her American Idol days. She has been maintaining her weight loss ever since, making her an inspiration for those who are looking to change their lives. Want to know the real kicker in all of this? She doesn't exercise. She learned about how what she puts in her body is extremely important. So Jennifer, so Jennifer stays, stays conscious, conscious of what she, of what she eats, eats more than, more getting, than getting in a workout. workout. Chaz Bono. When it comes to identity, body acceptance, and how you look at yourself, Chaz Bono has been through quite a journey. For one, Chaz had to go through a lot to become the person he knew he was on the inside, transitioning from female to male. Unfortunately, with transitioning, Chaz not only had to work through becoming male, but he had to deal with the excess weight gain that came with it. Between hormonal treatments, stress, and surgeries, Chaz's body was going through a lot. Then in 2012, Chaz made a decision to drop 50 pounds and ended up doing much better than that. He dropped 75 pounds and he has been maintaining his new weight ever since. Chaz came forward to the public to reveal that he was also suffering from body dysmorphia and saw his body as something separate from himself, especially before he transitioned. He carried a lot of self-doubt and negativity and Chaz realized that he had to let that go before he could be happy with himself. Today, Chaz looks completely different from his starting weight and has made it a mission to start loving and taking care of himself. Go Chaz! Melissa McCarthy when it comes to weight and body changes, Melissa McCarthy has been pushed into the spotlight. The actress has been around Hollywood for years, appearing in shows like Gilmore Girls. We all know she got a big break several years ago, and now it seems that everywhere you look, Melissa is in a new movie. With fame, especially in a business where looks are everything, Melissa found herself the receptor of scrutiny for her size. As a result, she was only getting cast in a certain type of role. So before she began filming the new Ghostbusters movie, she started using a controversial diet pill known as Garcinia Cambogia. Immediately, Melissa saw a change in her appearance, so she continued to use the pills. When the public found out, instead of praising her, they actually criticized her for it. In fact, her TV show Mike and Molly ended up getting cancelled because she lost weight. Given that the show had a focus on a plus-size couple, it was interesting that the decision was made based on Melissa's appearance. She was told that she no longer looked the part. But Melissa isn't too down about it. She's thrilled about living a healthier lifestyle. 50 Cent 
Sometimes, even skinnier actors have to lose some weight in order to play a role more truthfully. This was certainly the case for 50 Cent when he took on a role in the 2011 movie When Things Fall Apart. He played a football player who was diagnosed with cancer. 50 Cent ended up dropping 54 pounds to play the role truthfully. However, his methods of losing that weight weren't very healthy. 50 Cent was inspired by his friend who had passed from cancer, so he decided to lose the weight by limiting his eating to the point where he felt like he was starving. He started living on a liquid diet and ran on a treadmill for three hours a day. Given that he ended up looking completely different from his healthier self, we here at The Riches don't ever recommend starving yourself to lose weight. Because 50 Cent had a lot of muscle, the rapper admitted that it was hard to watch himself lose his muscle tone as he continued to drop the weight. His manager even recommended that he go see a doctor, but 50 Cent refused. He had a specific look in his mind and he really wanted to pay tribute to his friend. Wendy Williams we are usually our own worst critics, and it can definitely take a toll on us if we don't know how to manage it in a healthy way. Daytime television host Wendy Williams is no stranger to having self-esteem issues, and she isn't shy over sharing her journey with her viewers. She struggled with watching herself on camera and thought that her arms, bottom, and belly looked terrible, so Wendy decided to take the steps to make some dramatic changes to her lifestyle. Overall, she's lost about 50 pounds from doing Pilates, eating a pescatarian diet, doing cardio, and maintaining a positive outlook. Her viewers have even noticed the changes in her and how she looks completely different these days. When asked what her secret was, Wendy emphasized the fact that she always made sure that she ate breakfast. While breakfast is known as the most important meal of the day, there are conflicting studies as to whether it really helps you lose weight, but Wendy is certainly a believer and her results prove that there is something to the concept. Jared Leto we all know that Jared Leto was already someone who was pretty skinny, so it's hard to comprehend that he had any body fat percentage left after he dropped 40 pounds for his role in the movie Dallas Buyers Club. In the movie, he plays a transsexual woman named Rayon who was HIV positive. How did Jared do this? Well, like 50 Cent, his methods weren't the healthiest. He admitted that he pretty much stopped eating and he dropped down to 114 pounds. Jared admits that it was a difficult thing to do. The actor and singer is no stranger to changing his body dramatically for roles. He gained weight for the 2007 film Chapter 27 where he played Mark David Chapman, the man who we know ended the life of John Lennon. So going from dramatic weight gain to an even more dramatic weight loss, Jared is definitely putting his body through the ringer for the sake of his art. In addition to losing the weight to play Rayon, Jared was hoping to have a bit of a spiritual awakening from the fasting since that's a common practice throughout history. Abby Lee Miller we all remember Abby Lee Miller as a force of nature on the show Dance Moms. If you wanted your kid to become a dancer and get famous, taking them to Abby's studio was the way to go. Given that Abby had a business to run, a reputation to protect, and so on, she was often the center of scrutiny for her questionable teaching methods and how she worked with her dancers. Abby was also known for being overweight. She ended up pleading guilty to bankruptcy fraud and was sentenced to spend time in prison. Before she went in to serve her time, she had gastric bypass surgery to drop the weight. So so Abby was already starting to look dramatically different. She went into a correctional facility in Victorville, California in July 2017 and almost six months later it seemed that she had dropped at least 100 pounds. Abby was able to post an image on Instagram saying that she is hopeful that she will be released soon and that she has a great group of support. When the public saw the image, Abby quickly went viral because she looked so dramatically different from how we knew her before. Jonah Hill Jonah Hill started off his acting career with some weight, but given the genre of the roles he was taking on and the movies he was doing, it made sense. Superbad was his breakout movie and his appearance made complete sense for his character. It's a lot easier for an overweight male actor to get some traction in the business than women. When he was in the movie War Dogs, he had to put on about 40 pounds for his character, but after that, Jonah has gone through quite the transformation. We're used to seeing him with a much fuller figure, so it was a shock when he started stepping out looking a lot skinnier. Now now, it seems that since he's lost the weight, he's working on his muscle tone. He's definitely dropped more than the original 40 pounds he gained. Apparently, Jonah hired a nutritionist and started keeping a food journal so that he could see what he needed to work on lifestyle-wise. Perhaps we're going to see him take on more different roles than what we're used to seeing. Mama June 
Before you all start rolling your eyes over a Honey Boo Boo entry, hear us out. Remember Mama June Shannon? She is the family matriarch who was cooking up some of the most unhealthy foods like Skeddy and not really following a healthy lifestyle. Unfortunately, June's choices in dating partners ended up bringing an end to Here Comes Honey Boo Boo. However, we know that this wasn't the last time that we would see June. Not too long after, we began to get teasers for the new show Mama June from Not to Hot and we got to see firsthand how she was changing her body. At her heaviest, she was about 460 pounds, and June ended up getting the gastric sleeve surgery in 2015. After that, she made a drastic change in her lifestyle and started eating healthier and incorporating exercise into her daily routine. She also had about 9 pounds of skin removed, breast augmentation, and other plastic surgery procedures to change her appearance. How much did this transformation cost? About $75,000.